Hi, Vanessa from brightandbubbly.com. Hi, Vanessa. Hey, nice to meet you. So nice to see you. Nice to online meet you, Annie and Myra. So my first question, I guess, is for both of you guys. Um, How did you first become involved with the film and were you fans of the original? (laughs) <laughs> was like, who's going first um well I'm a huge rom-com fan already I feel like rom-coms have been a huge part of my entire life I am a hopeless romantic okay. I die for rom-coms I get very <laughs> emotionally invested so I've always been a really big fan um so when I heard about the remake which I'm pretty sure is the way you heard it to Annie like via our reps <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> via our managers and agents very cool um it was just like oh my gosh this is so cool and yeah so that's just how it all started and then it just auditioning and went from there did you guys have to audition together we did not together (laughs) um we we had chemistry reads with our our cast best friends Um, yes our respective besties so I chemistry read with um, Addison okay. and Annie. With and I read with Peter Buchanan. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Now, as you guys said, you're fans of the original. How stoked were you guys? Were to, how stoked were you guys to have the, some of the original cast in the film? I we were honored. Like <laughs> honestly, <laughs> like yeah. I, I was like, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. And they're like, chill. Like it's. <laughs> They're like, whoa, whoa, Annie. And girling every time you see them. <laughs> just like just staring at them from the cross room, like so great. You're so wonderful. Just, just hearing the song in the background, kiss me. I know. Yeah, it's like kiss me. They're like, oh my. exactly. <laughs> so, so Annie, um, your character is so fiercely protective, Cameron. Is there someone in your life that you drew inspiration off from, like, to bring that fierceness to this character? <laughs> I'm generally very protective of everyone I love. Um, like, when it comes to me, I'm like, Meh. but, like, uh, if someone does anything to, like, my friends, my family, or even, like, students that I used to work with, I'm just like, what's up? You know, <laughs> you know but, um, no, me <laughs> <This person. laughs> exactly and Myra you know the whole film is all about you know being obsessed with social media and I guess um Annie you can answer this as well how has this film changed your thoughts about social media and how much we share and how much kids should be sharing on it and should we be living our lives online in such a public way? Right. I mean, that's such a tough question. I feel yeah. like, I mean, prior to the film, I never had a TikTok. <laughs> um, so I got TikTok for the Good. film. And honestly, <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, come on, Myra, come on, <laughs> get TikTok. It, it's about time now. Um, so I got TikTok to just see, like understand a bit more and and honestly, I've been completely sucked in. I watched TikTok like three hours. Okay, I shouldn't say this out loud. It sounds like I have a mental illness. Yes, I scroll. I too scroll through my algorithm three hours a day. Don't you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like the new Sunday paper. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> but no, I feel like usage of social media really is what you make of it. And I feel like it can be an extremely powerful thing and special thing it's a way you can keep in touch with friends family and people can be really creative with it people have built whole you know people have been so have created so much on TikTok Instagram Twitter people made so many connections and I think it can be a beautiful thing but it's really how you use it and how you regulate it in your life and I feel like we're getting better and in regulating it in our daily lives, I feel, because people are very aware about, you know, mental health and all these things. And there's a large conversation about that on social media as well. So I feel like it's very important for that as well. Just a place to share and a place to relate to other people. And I feel like that for me personally, and I'm sure for a lot of people our age and younger is important for them a place to be able to feel included and like they can relate to other people with the same, you know, feelings about it or the same problems or the same anything like you can find anyone or any 
any um, resource on social media. So I feel like that's the amazing part. It's true. It's kind of like anything that exists, like too much of anything is bad, you know, and not mm-hmm. good for you mm-hmm. and use it, don't abuse it, you know? Yes. Perfect. Have- Very oh, concise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it can be used for good and bad. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I know you guys had to shoot in the middle of a pandemic. How difficult was it to shoot this film? And how fast did you guys have to shoot it? We had to shoot it pretty fast. Um, it was it was pr- uh, pretty hard to adjust to this new kind of filming at first. Mm-hmm. But I think we were just so blessed. And um, it was just so great to have such a great team to mm-hmm. have and to take care of us and our castmates we all got along really well and immediately clicked like even though we had to get to know each other over zoom that worked out Mm -hmm. um everyone was very responsible really safe um and our production team was so great in making sure that we were comfortable and um that the set was safe and so that made everything a million times very smooth and like shout out to mark waters man like he he's the real MVP. Like he really, really put his heart and soul into this and really made sure that we did this safely and brought out the best performances in all of us and made it such like a fun environment, even though everything around us was extremely stressful, AKA the pandemic. Yeah. So it was a, like, I, I'm sure, I, I'm sure I speak for Annie too, and that we both feel extremely grateful that we had a, the chance to do this even in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah. So, awesome. Yeah. And my final question is, what are you guys hoping young girls and especially LGBTQ community kids um, take away after seeing this film since you guys are such a key couple in the film? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to hug you through the Zoom, but Aww. I don't know which way you are, so it's okay. <laughs> this <fun. laughs> um, <laughs> what do we hope? Um, I really hope that they, um, that people watch this and feel seen and that they really feel represented and that, um, that there's someone that they can know, that they can have the freedom to be who they are because they get inspiration from seeing us living our lives fully the way they are. But I mean, y'all don't need us to do that really. (laughs) I know we can represent (laughs) y'all. Yeah. I mean, like as someone who grew up watching rom-coms, I feel like representation is always extremely important. And it's, I feel like it's really important that, you know, the, the, the people who are watching this for their generation, they, like Annie said, they can feel seen, they feel represented and they can relate to the stories because I feel like that's always the stories that stick with you the most are the stories that you see yourself in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's true. We don't ever really realize how important um, representation is until someone like says it to you and they're like, wow, I'm so glad like, you know, Mm -hmm. you were there and I feel seen. Or even um, my friend, she writes novels for young um, LGBTQ groups and she was writing a character that was uh, like Indian background, Indian ethnicity, but from South India and Christian, which people don't know that there are Christians in South India. Um, and so she was writing a book and then she asked me to read it and help, help give her tips. And I was like, you know, when Indians, like South Indians go into a house, they do something simple like this. And I think you should add it. It's really, and I was like, it's really tiny. Nobody's going to really care, but at least I know it's authentic. Yeah. <laughs> and after she published a book and sent it out, a whole bunch of South Indian LGBTQ people like reached out and we were like, when I saw that, I was like floored. And I was like, I cannot believe like we're represented and I can like she really did that the character no. like something like taking the shoes off before entering the house and I was just like wow I didn't think I don't know that was important <laughs> but we important in my room exactly. <laughs> every small <laughs> thing counts all right well thank you guys so much for chatting with me today you guys are amazing love the film thank you so much success. thank you so much have a good day thank bye. you, you too, bye <laughs>